Hey everyone, welcome back to Techo World. Today I have come up with an interesting 3D typography flying letter animation. Before starting, let's take a look at it. Without getting more delay, let's get started. Create a new composition. Composition name, I will name it as a 3D typography. Then go to 3D render in this render select advanced 3D. Now type just one letter because we are creating letters following so for that we need individual letters. And do not forget to convert this letter in 3D. Now create solid. I will name it as a floor and the color I will choose here white color. Convert this into a 3D. Once again, create the solid layer for this. I will name it as a background. The color I will choose here, gray color. Select this floor layer. Hit R for the rotation here, X rotation. I will change it to 90 degrees. As of now, hide this BG layer and later will on it. Now select the two view, then hold this blue color arrow mark and pull it down, it's a Z axis. Once it is done, change the view to one view. Select this floor layer and hit S for the scale, unlink this scale and increase its height and width. Now on this. Now close this. Now create the light. In the light type, select the environment. If this cast shadow is off then on it. Now drag and drop this HDRI into the timeline. The link to this HDRI is in the link you can download it from there. Go to the environmental light in this source and select the HDRI. By selecting this layer hit R for the rotation and change the Y rotation. Now go to this 3D Typography Composition setting. Go to 3D Render here, click on Options, then click on Fit to Scene, that's it. Now close this. Select the T letter, hit P, and by holding the Shift key, hit the R for the rotation and give the keyframe at the starting point of the composition. Before that, let's go to its properties. In the Geometry option, Extrusion Depth Value, I will change it to 650. In Bevel Style, I will select the Convex. Difference of the depth you can see here if you change its camera angle. Okay, let's undo this. Now close this. By selecting this letter layer, hit U to see the given keyframes. Here change the values of rotations. Move a few frames forward again, same here change its values, once you've done this change the position value as well. Finally, if you want to give the loop expression for the constant loop by holding the Alt key click on this time icon and write the expression loop out. You need to express all these keyframes individually. Now do this for these rotations as well.
Repeat this same procedure for all these given keyframes. Let's have a look at it. Looks good to me. Once you are done with this, duplicate this letter by Control D and change the letters. And change its values for the given keyframes. Again, do this for all the letters. Once it is done, select all the letter layers, then hit P for the position click here on this position. If you click on this, select the given keyframes at the position. Now you can see that all keyframes are gathered at the same position. So let's go to any of the keyframes and then change its position. Repeat this to all these layers. Once you are done with changing the position, the final output will be this. Let's see the final output. I hope this video finds you helpful. If yes, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the video and hit the bell icon to be the first viewer of my upcoming video. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.